Straight from the heart of East Tennessee, this is 10 News at 5. And welcome back to 10 News at 5. I'm Beth Haynes. It seems like there's a new computer threat every other week, but one specific virus could cause hundreds of thousands of computers to be unable to access the Internet later this summer. It's a piece of... Um, malware called DNS Changer and while the FBI already caught its creators last November it still managed to infect more than 350,000 computers worldwide without many users knowledge but those who have the virus may find out the hard way this July here to tell us more about the DNS Changer virus and how it works how you can stop it Dan Thompson from Claire's Networks along with Jason Graff from Sword and Shield Enterprise Security thank you both for being here it yeah, sounds no like this is something we're all hopefully not but a lot of us are gonna have to deal with and Dan let's start with you basically what is this virus exactly and how does it work sure so essentially what's happening under the hood DNS um, is, is a bit of a technical term uh, that references a translation that goes on behind the scenes when you and I are browsing the internet so like if you type in facebook.com there's some stuff that goes on behind the scenes that lets your computer know where to go on the internet okay. uh, so what the virus has done essentially is redirect all those requests and is sending it to somewhere else other than Facebook. Looks like Facebook, but is not actually Facebook. Uh, and then for every person that they direct, they're making money because, you know, as you know, on the internet, the way some people make money is by clicks. Uh, so they're just funneling all these people over to a site that's making them cash. And this impacts both Windows and Mac users, right? That's right. It seems for the first time, the sort of safety net of the Mac user has been uh, um, sort of uh, dissolved a little bit uh, with the DNS changer as well as there's another uh, malware out there called Flashback which hit over 600,000 Macs which is a similar result what they call click fraud what Dan mm -hmm. was respond or was talking about was the idea that people would get illegitimate clicks and they get paid for them you know because people get driven to their website sure. let's talk about what the FBI did when they arrested the creators of the virus and why did they take the steps they did yeah so essentially what happened was is uh, in their investigative process they realized that if they yanked the carpet out from under it so to speak there would be a whole lot of people on the internet stranded and mm -hmm. couldn't surf the internet anymore so what the FBI decided to do was leave those servers in place albeit at taxpayer dollars mm -hmm. uh, and then now they're stuck with the the conundrum of oh well we either have to keep these servers up indefinitely, which they have obviously decided not to, uh, or turn it all off, which is what they're going to do, and then all the people who are infected uh, are essentially not going to have internet access, or they won't be able to browse, we should say, anyway. And the target date for this is July 9th? That's right. And what will it, what will happen on July Effectively, 9th? if you have the virus uh, on July 9th when they turn those servers off, when you open up Internet Explorer or Safari or whatever, uh, you'll just get a page cannot be displayed no matter what address you go to. Okay, following that, one, how do you know you have the virus and will this June 9th um, blackout, if you will, correct your problem if you have the virus? No, the, um, so, and that's a great question. So the FBI has actually put up a website um, and actually it's a group of people um, at dcwg.org. And this is actually a really great website that actually lets you go to it, scan your machine to see if you have it. Also has a lot of instructions on how to remove it if you do have it. Okay. Um, July 9th, that only uh, thing that that date does is mean your computer's gonna stop working if you are still infected by that date. So you'll know you have it if you haven't checked otherwise um, at that point. So if your computer doesn't stop working on July Ninth, you're okay. If that's the way you want to handle it, or you could just go to dcwg.org and, and find out. You know, well, I mean, you right can. Now. I'm just wondering if there are any that's visible right. signs that your your computer has issues. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's something. But the uh, you know one of the uh, side effects as well is the fact that this uh, malware shuts down your antivirus software and also prevents you from getting updates. Okay. So. You know, it's not just the fact that you can't get to the internet, it's the fact that your computer may be susceptible to other malware now too, you know, that might be out there that you're, you know, while you're surfing around. Yeah, that's a great point. All right, well, we appreciate you guys being with us and uh, hopefully not as many will be impacted by this, but uh, look for the July 9th um, and we may continue to talk about All this right. with you guys in the coming future. Thank you for being here. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks for having us. All right, stay with us. We're coming right back after this.